thing over and over again. Do the cheer. There we go. Okay. Uh, Alvin missing? No? There we go. Up, uh, you know, sometimes there's a bit of a discrepancy on who is the leader of the cheer. Yeah, they weren't sure who was supposed to start it, so like nobody started it. Trust me, like if you if there's a fan leader and you cheer instead of them, you're never gonna hear the end of it. Yeah. Also, a reverse Spartacus moment. No one wants to put their hand up. Sure. And also, if the um, if it ends up being that it's a new team and you're like about to do the cheer and you're like, okay, no one's doing it, I'm gonna do it. And then you start it, but then someone does it louder than you on the other side of the room, you feel so awkward. It can be a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> Gotta get that coordination down. Okay, as oh. said, is enough is enough. Oh boy. Delight flexing onto the Zarya. This is what I wanna see. Okay, no Perkita actually, so they're still gonna be sticking through Keeping with the, the Diva. Diva. Yeah. But no break. So Dawn, if he can shut down Edison, that could still be huge. Already though, he's gonna be getting jumped on, taken low around the corner. Edison looking to line up another rocket punch. Sparkle gonna be dead. Edison takes out Doha. Sparkle did manage to find Fielder. Now Ion gonna be eliminated. Punch in though, unique. Taken out. This is what I've wanted. The mirror matchup between these two gods of DPS. Super cut there on Takoyaki. GC boost on wave in on the point. The rocket punch will eliminate the enemy. Ryan. Seismic slam into the back. Edison with the double gets rid of Fix Me. And that will be the cap on A. This tells me that during that short halftime break, Nick and the coaching staff, mentalists, etc. They've taken together. the shackles off Edison. They said, Edison, if you think you can match this guy? Because I've seen your Doomfist. I know you, I know you can on your best day. What do you think? And Edison said, yeah. He's locked it in. And what's so surprising is, as you pointed out, it's still with the D.Va here. No Brigida, it's just pure mobility. Oh man, this is just gonna be people flying up into the air. A circus act. Meteor strike down, Edison not gonna be able to find anything. Goes back in for the punch, gets connection there on a sparkle. Also gets an uppercut through. Ion and Daydream both gonna be eliminated. Dive into the back, looking for the finish here on the fielder. We'll be able to find it. Oh, Edison, a sliver of HP. Does manage to escape, no further stagger onto him. Sparkle gonna be holding on to this meteor strike that's gonna be up in 10%. We didn't really talk about the old charges because everything started flying real quick there before that fight. But looking at things now as they stand, GC Busan Wave obviously with a massive time bank, but they don't have a grab yet. The grab can lead to that space jam, which might actually grant them that second cap. And we're a ways away from that, yeah. Down barrier in, Edison gonna be shielded up. Sparkle gonna be holding on to the meteor strike. Grab it on surge, coming through. Slam! Sparkle comes up with the kill that follows up with one other fielder. Another one of the daydream with the uppercut. And just like that, GC Busan Wave has been held at bay. The difference here is that Jesus Busan Wave does not have a Brigida. Their Brigida was being shut down by Doha, by the way, on Hollywood. That's why he wasn't able to, Delight wasn't able to counter him. But this time they're brigida -less, so Sparkle can do whatever he wants. Doha doesn't even have to be prepping for him. That's why I don't think the D.Va is actually correct here. That was why Edison was stunned and then caught by that Meteor Strike, was because Doha hit him with the Bash. And we're going to see that multiple more times, Ooh. you have to imagine. Noah going to have to retreat here. Sparkle already finds Daydream, gets Fielder, the back line completely dismembered. Edison trying to build up. Sparkle is lapping him in Meteor Strike percentage right now. Mind you, Sparkle used one in the last fight. Edison has been building up one. Yeah, it feels like we're going to see these next few pushes kind of fall by the wayside here. Eventually, GC Busan Wave will have to make the tough choice to put Brigida back in. They don't want to do it right now because they're about to have a massive set of ultimates. But I think if this push with the triple ults, the self-destruct, the meter strike, and the grab, like the bigger bangs jam, I don't know, we don't have a word for this yet. If that fails, it's time to swap. Well, grab's going to be coming out. Edison now, meter strike online. Does he go for it already? Three kills. Going the way of GC Busan Wave up fourth. This Takoyaki will crumble. Element Mystic now. It's going to crisis management mode as they try to hold this off, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do so. Two ticks already gained. Can they tag in a time? They barely managed to beat it. 98.8% built up. Sound barriers out from Unique. Gets the couple members, but Admin's going to be eliminated. The Meteor Strike in from Sparkle. Sparkle. Fight Fielder. The Shadow from Takoyaki gets the Light Daydream. Edison, they're gone. They actually managed to hold them off. 98.8% is not 100, and that is gonna be the hold. Very astute! The stagger here onto Ritz is painful. 
But there's one thing that Jesus Passant Wave was able to learn through these pushes is sure, and we do see the Brigitte come back in, by the way, for Delight. But the one thing that Ele Mystic is missing is the Diva, and that means that Jesus Busan Wave was able to just walk up and plant the grab in their faces. Ele Mystic not prepared for that. Okay, the mirror matchup. Now completed, completely straight mirror, 6v6 here. But GC Busan Wave is going to have to use Delight on this Brigida to shut Sparkle down a little bit more effectively than has been the case and what we saw him fail to do on Hollywood. Oh, huge fire strike there for Tom Yeah, Yacht. that was, uh, that was a pretty darn big side big slam in. Sparkle with a lot of damage, has a hop out. Santa Mary is going to be used. Daydream using that, but the grab is going to be there. Sparkle does not have the Meteor Strike to try to combo in. He'll get rid of the shielding from the sound barrier, but no kills to be found otherwise. As if getting chunked out, Meteor Strike gonna be coming down. Looking for Fix Me, but he makes his way out of there. Sparkle gets to A Dream. I am gonna get dropped. Unique gonna be the only one falling on the side of Element Missing so far. Takoyaki dangerously low, but the armor packs come through. They top him back up, and Sparkle just cleans up house again. Remember, this time make was seven minutes plus when it started. We're now down to 245. It's just again and again and again, over and over. Hello Mystic comes up clutch to prevent the final tick. And Unique here, just looking to see if they can knock anybody off when they come around. Right now, Jisoo Busan doesn't have any ults to use. This is basically an eco push, but they are running low on time. Dive and Shatter ready to go. Slams it down, catches everybody to the side. Ion, he kills Sparkle, but that doesn't matter. Everybody else is already dead. Listen, does manage to take down Doha. But Chase Ford here is just going to be the finish on Ion. Delay even further here as we hit two minutes remaining in GC Busan Waves time bank. GC Busan in dire straits now. Ooh, unique. Okay, just being a little bit greedy there, trying to get the final some parts of the sound barrier. And this is playing angry though. He gets the kill, but there's nothing else he can do after that. If he follows up further, he's gonna end up losing control. Bunch up to the side, meteor strike ready to roll. But it's weird. No combo. That's gonna be grab out from Hotman, locking him in. The meteor strike finds two. Sparkle again. Gets rid of him. Edison's play there. I mean, he's the last to die, the, the last to survive, I guess I should say. He doesn't end up going down, but that was overextended. That was too aggressive, and he wasn't there for to help with his team to break through the center. Because he was out alone, the rest of the squad couldn't get through, couldn't get past the grab. Remember, they're running a team on this comp, so they need him there for disruption, or else they're just going to get eaten up by Hanbin's Graviton Surge. He still holds that Meteor Strike, and they're going to swing around the right side once again. Grab of their own, almost ready, but supports ultimates on the other side. Shatter ready to go. It's actually going to be a drop down from Takayaki. Thought maybe he was trying to go, to go for the setup, but now there's not going to be a shield ready to go, other than the lights and Ritz with a bubble. The Shatter can just be held. Clean up time coming through yet again. Punch in, the light going to be gone. Edison split from the roster again, trying to kill the supports. He finds Fix Me. If he kills the supports before the fight begins, like for example, if he comes in, gets a kill on to Fix Me, or Meteor Strikes on to Fix Me, then Ritz's grab becomes so potent. There's no D.Va to absorb the Graviton Surge, so if he can stop the supports from being effective here, Ritz's grab can get them that final tick. It's a big if, and he's been shut down a lot, but I think he needs to stay with the squad and look, go on that assassination mission for the supports. Pushing up the top. It's gonna be the heal that I'm looking for him. The sound barrier does go through, and it keeps them all alive. Edison, the first one to fall. A huge pick already from the side of Element Missing. Sound barrier is out for Jason Kuzan Wave, but it's not enough to keep them alive. Ritz gonna get him, but Nagoyaki take it down. Time to slam into the back. Sparkle will get shattered. Basically, solo. They do finish him off, but the team is in shambles as they try to make their way over onto the point for the Graviton Surge. Locks him in 98.8%. The no look high five there from Unique. Seven Says minutes, it all. Seven minutes and five seconds, I believe, was the time bank when they started all this. When they started at the beginning to head towards the... It was the, huge. They went for the double cap. It was 98.8. The Miracle Hold comes out from Sparkle, and they get it all the way down to zero. It doesn't get much tougher than this. Morale-wise, this was supposed to be the match of the group stage. This was supposed to be the match of the season. Now, it is for me. And right now, it's the match of Sparkle. It is Ella Mystic showing the world they are back to season one form. No one walks away from this series thinking Ella Mystic is not going to win this season. Sure, Runaway <laughs> comes as a big challenge to that, but 
We know that the dominance that El Mystic is displaying is coming against one of the strongest teams in Korea. The only, you know, remaining roster that kept all of its members from last season and came in undefeated just as El Mystic has. But so. Wolf, what happens if El Mystic gets first place and O2 already in out of Group A is the fourth seed and they get pushed against each other again? Well, it'll be a hell of a round of eight cash for Season us. one repeat? No, I don't think so. Not at this state, but I would enjoy it. If I would enjoy it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Sparkle gonna be on the attack with the Doomfist again. Defense here, Edison back over onto the Zarya. Says, you know what, coach, I'm sorry. I don't think I can match it. Okay, well, here we go. Edison, meaning he's on the Zarya, means Ritz keeps the Diva so they can shut down grabs. Good for the punch, gets one hit, chunks him out. Eye on an Edison, oh, dangerously low, trying to get top back up. Gonna have to take a little off. bit of damage. We'll go ahead, peel back for the moment, playing this right. one out a little patiently. Watch Doha, he's at the front, he's looking for that slam onto Delight. Gets a punch, the Chargers there to match, and Sparkle will get taken down. Now Takoyaki dead, Edison coming up with a double kill. So touting him as perhaps the best Zarya in Korea. And he's doing a great job here, high energy, looking for the grab. Honestly, GC Passan's best way to win this map is the full hold straight up right now. Just continuing to poke as his energy drains low. He's just looking for those final 30% points on his ultimate. Nice oh, to do this. Yeah, sorry, I'm able to help escort him. Rally's gonna be out for Doha. Grabs on third, pinned into the back. Locks him down, Doha, the first one to fall. Self-destruct, gonna be thrown down, bubble. The barrier, rather, does get popped, and Sparkle will get taken down. So a very rough start to this push here for Element Mystic. There's a really nice grab on the Sparkle there. He was about to do massive damage, then build the Meteor Strike, which would give him further survivability. So that very edge of the self-destruct that kills him is massive, and is what gives Jesus Sun Wave this relatively easy hold. And Edison's already, you know, a third of the way to a new grab. Ion's now the center of attention here. Dive in, Shatter coming down, locks up to Ion into the back, looking for the pin, does manage to get the catch there. on Onodoha takes him down, the Meteor Strike from Sparkle. Maybe a little bit wanting, the does barrier. find one. The barrier does come through, they're still down the Rhine and the break, they're just now respawning. Ion low in the back, trying to stay alive, will get topped off. It would seem Sparkle coming back in, rejoins with the squad in onto the point where the first stick is going to be grabbed. Second on the way, Ion trying to push forward, has to hold up the shield. The sound barrier now in from GC Plus on wave. Daydream keeping his team in the fight. Edison, another Graviton surge online, punch coming through a little bit short. And Sparkle's going to get punished for it. Locking up the members here into the front, they're trying to stay alive. Takoyaki getting dropped low, hits the ground. Ritz will make sure that he stays there. The Rockets blending the life of the enemy Ryan. Sparkle now region spawning. Back in shortly. Bubbles out a minute and a half remaining. Graviton Surge thrown down by Hot by Edison. Or no, by Hotman, sorry. Edison playing back. High energy still now peaking at 100. Right clicking away. Trying to build up to that next grab. Trying to keep the fight going. Sparkle with a meteor strike. Gonna be dropping in. Looking for the pick off here. Onto the Zarya will weaken him. But cannot get the kill. Rocket punch through into the back side. Big slam gets a pop up. Edison gonna get dropped. Fielder eliminated. Done now it. this should translate into the cap here onto A. The time bank, however, weakened, but still will be bumped up to just shy of five minutes. And all they need is completion. You know, they're not They basically worried. need the finishing, yeah. Yeah, all, they're not worried about, uh, you know, what their timing is when they complete it. It's just the completion they need so they can spend some time setting up here. Pushing their way through, dive in, Sparkle, gonna be landing on top of the lamp here. Into the back, Shatter ready to go, but actually gonna be hitting the low ground. Fire strike in, Ion gonna be taken down. Sparkle traded out in the meantime. Sound barrier used by Unique, it's gonna be a wrap around the backhand side of the map. Yeah, this could be huge. Pushing through the choke, Edison does have a grab on Surge online. Move Takoyaki down again, Shatter coming in, locks him up. Grab is gonna be there, Transcendence out from Fix Me, keeps them alive, and Delight will be taken down. Ring grab in from Hot Here it goes. Locks up Edison and Fielder. Looking for the kill, but the Transcendence is there. Sparkle just waiting patiently for that to expire. Will miss the rocket punch. Edison still down below half HP, and Hot is able to finish him off. Dive into the back, looking for the execution here. On oh, the he's at Yana. Sparkle is going to be able to find it. Sound barrier out from Daydream. Catches three members, just trying to keep them in the mix, trying to keep things going. 
Right, big slam, not gonna find anything. Another meteor strike online. Looking for the punch, gets the connection onto Ion. They take him down. Takoyaki scooping up the kill. This is swapping back over onto the Zarya. Gonna be rejoining. Takoyaki comes up with a double. The light gonna be eliminated. And another shatter, ready to go. Holding this one, slams it down. They get the kills. Edison's alone. It's gonna be gone. They're ticking up the second one, coming through, getting closer and closer. Can they just finish it right here? They can. The series goes to Element Mystic, a 3-0. One more map for GC Boost on Wave to try to spare their blushes, but good God. Very well fought at the end there on B. Utter chaos at times, but GC Boost on Wave cannot stabilize. They cannot hold them off, and Element Mystic look completely unstoppable. Element Mystic just capitalize on every single moment that Delight could not shut Sparkle down. Delight hit by the Shatter, you could just see, it's like, you know, you mentioned it earlier, kind of it feels like Sparkle's been unleashed on the Doomfist, but like, you see that Shatter, and you see Delight's on the ground, and it feels like the, the owner of the dog leash has literally just dropped the reins, dropped the leash, and Sparkle just goes, man. You see the Brigida is shield bashed, and he is going in. He's gonna kill anybody who gets near him. He doesn't care if it's a backline support, if it's an enemy Doomfist, if it's the Rhine, the Zarya. He's gonna find you and he's gonna kill you. He's gonna build old charge. Just going and going and going. There's no stopping this. The only person who can stop him is Delight. And because Element Mystic is putting such a good, they're putting such a good effort forward and such a good coordinated effort to either killing Delight or stunning him, whether it's with a Shield Bash coming through from Doha, or if it's from an Earth Shatter coming out from Takoyaki. When he is incapacitated for whatever reason, Sparkle is just all over the place. And when you look at the mirror matchup there, we didn't even get to see the fair fight because when they were running Edison on the Doomfist, Delight was su was swapped away from that. He was playing Zarya. We had you know all sorts of weird heroes coming out from d on Wave to allow Edison to play this. But it meant that Sparkle had an unfair advantage. There was no stuns for him to dodge. He would just had a field day. And clearly, g on Wave is just not ready to run this comp yet. And I think that if they were, controversial opinion, we haven't really seen him that much this season. I think Alpha Yi would be the player they want in the booth, not Edison, the hit scan specialist. But Alpha Yi was not subbed in. They could not have known Ella Mystic was just going to Doomfist all night long. And I think no matter what map we see going into Escort, it's going to be more of the same. Seems very likely. Perhaps a swap. Maybe we get XE to come in. Time will tell as we figure out what's going to happen. Is the music just going to Okay. So we'll give it a minute to figure we'll out whether or not XE is going to be coming back in or if they just want to go ahead and, you know, get out of, get out of here early. It's only getting ready to be 4 o'clock. Yeah, it's been a pretty quick one. This has been a very fast day. I mean, so it, far. it got extended by that seven minute hold. Yes. Uh, yeah, so remember when we were, it was gonna be close series, was it like game five? <laughs> it's the test I do. the tank line. I do remember that. It's Ion versus Takoyaki, but then we gotta keep in mind Sparkles, Zarya, is Edison really the better Zarya? Like, we won't know, because we're never going to see that matchup tonight. We're just going to watch Sparkle fly around. No one can stun him. You know, when you... No, I, I was... Well, I'll, I'll do it. I was, this is a bad reference to make, but I was going to say, it's like for the first time everyone as a kid watching the prequels, right? The kids who watched the prequels saw Yoda flying around. Are you talking about the Star Wars prequels? Yeah. yeah. When you're a kid watching Yoda fly around for the first time, you're like, well, I didn't know that that was even possible that something like that could move that fast and do that much damage. I didn't know the Jedis had super speed that they'll never use again. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had that track and field, but... Except uh, Sparkle, he keeps using his abilities. He is always using them on cooldown in the best way possible. Got picked off a couple times on this attack. It, it started off a little bit weak for them, actually, with him getting uh, taken down at the beginning. And, I, you know, it started looking like, oh, maybe this is going to be it. Maybe GC Busan can try to turn things around with a closeout. That does suit the highlight narrative. It, it, does, it does. It does. <laughs> it was looking good, but it, it just didn't work out. So no swaps. No XC today. Allow him to get a little bit more rest. We'll just be straight into the final map where GC Blue Sunwave is going to be trying to pick up a victory. Element Mystic, mind you, has only dropped one map so far this season. That was Hollywood to Stormquake. Everything else has been utterly dominant from them. GC Busan, only real loss 
was Route 66, which is where we're going, Stormquake, and otherwise a tie versus Meta right. Athena. So with Ella Mystic only dropping one map, if they win this and win the next series 4-0, or, you know, we'll, we'll just say for week four standings, they will be the most winning team. Runaway dropping that one extra map yesterday. Yep. All right, seems like we've sorted the fan share. Yeah. During that map, you know, whoever the, the two disputers were sure, like, they weren't calling out or something to do that. They, like, had a little chat in the hallway, like, okay, like, I'm going to do game three. From now on, I'm going to do game four. Yeah, I've actually never read the menu in here. What is a taco tornado? Uh, trust me, you don't want to know. I would, uh, I would be interested in procuring a taco tornado. You think you do, but I think you don't. You're not ready for the taco tornado. No. You think you're ready, but you're not. <laughs> you need to at least try the taco whirlwind, yeah. before that, the soft taco whirlwind, before you're ready. Taco breeze. <laughs> Okay, looks like maybe a little bit of a Protect the McCree coming through, so Edison going to be looking to shut down and at least stun up Sparkle momentarily with a flashback. Yeah, that seems to be the plan. So flanking around here. He's already shown himself, but he looks to go for the flashbang. Ooh. Can be another way to shut down Sparkle. It's another stun. It is. And he can, you know, outrange him, obviously. Flashbang coming through. Doesn't help if there's a Zarya <laughs> bubble on him, though. It's Adrian. Just kills him right in front of his eyes, goes into the back, a triple, a oh, quadra kill! This man is absolutely unstoppable! JC boosts on wave, they look up and shout, spare us, and Sparkle yells back, absolutely not! 1v6, 1v6, he's doing it all on his own, he's got the Zarya bubble, sure, but every single kill is on the back of that fist right there. Now he's just gonna flank and do it again. He knows they're all in the container. There's only two ways out of there. He finds the entrance. Dive in, uppercut fielder just disappears. Oh my god. Meteor strikes ready. He sees Edison, but he's he finds putting on a clinic. Jump over the side, uppercut through. The shots connect. It doesn't matter. He gives a wave. This man is unstoppable. I think we're gonna watch two minutes and 42 seconds more of Carnage is what it starts to feel like. Now he's got the rally armor, which will stack with the shields when he does come in there and hit those targets. Now they're, they're, they're shaping it up. They're gonna be trying to hack him. Going over towards the Sombra to try to shut it down. Ion, however, is gonna be dead. Ritz is gonna be popped out of the mech. Delight getting tagged up. Tries to escape, will get pocketed back through by Daydream. Edison's just trying anything he can. He's on the Sombra now. He's hoping that perhaps a right-click hack will get him to shut down the mobility of Sparkle. That's if he's staying still long enough for you to hack him in the first place. Yeah, not to mention the fact that with interrupts now on Sombra's hack, I mean, you're going to be hard-pressed to make it work. He can hit you with the arm cannon, reveal you. He's trying his best. He's not building a whole lot of alt charge. It's Cesario is caught for GC Busan Wave. Oh, well, decent tag up here onto the barrier. We'll force Takoyaki back. Okay, yeah, this delight swap has actually been the most successful part of this, I'd say. Oh, Meteor Strike. Oh, no way, he oh, aims no him in the air. Way. That would have been insane. That would have been, that would have been just stupidly I would have walked out of the room. <laughs> that would have been it. He doesn't get it. He doesn't pick anybody off. This ballsy move doesn't come up with anything. Shadow, however, will help lead to Fielder's death. Now the light going to be taken down. Ritz knocked out of the mech by the fire strike. It's just going to be clean up time, and Element Mystic can stabilize yet again. Oh, I almost just lost my mind when we knew that he was going to try it. <laughs> A little too much mobility yeah. between the fire and the mercy there. All right, well, Jesus was on wave as more ults than they're ever going to have. It's going to be now or never. Oh, Transcendence going to be coming out. We're now into a minute remaining. Barrage still up for Delight. EMP is ready for Edison. Could be the combo. EMP is going to hit. The Barrage comes down, but Sparkle gets rid of Edison. And Delight finds nothing with the Barrage. Sparkle gets another double kill. Pushing back forward. He's looking for the Farah. He sees her on the ground. Can't get the kill there. We'll just go ahead and settle for the double kill. And just like most of the time, Sparkle's been eluded, or he's eluded, Jesus was on wave. They haven't known where he's going to flank, they haven't known where he's going to kill him from. He eludes the EMP. Now gets the light out of the sky. Takes him down. Another meteor strike going to be coming through. Where is he going to go? It's going to be Ritz. Not even going to spare the pilot, Diva. 
Not going to happen. No. 15 seconds to go. This is the most brutal thing I've ever seen. And this is first versus second place. Waited this long, man. Imagine how dominant the rest of the group could have been if you've been showing it from the beginning. Yep, just wanted to hold it and see who the true competition was going to be. At least on paper, at least. So, kind of repeating my words now. I'm just so mind blown. Ion does manage to open things up, takes down Hanbin. The grab, not able to find anything. Light looking for the boot back. Rocket's coming through. Ritz going to be taken down. Doha traded out. A three for two so far. GC Pus on wave might be able to get things moving. Taco Yaki going to be taken down with Sparkle. Still going to be looking for the Mirage from above. Will finally be able to kill him. The Rockets fly straight and true. Unique taken down. But they're finally rounding the first corner in OT. By the time they get close to A, that bar is going to start plummeting. And Element Mystic has enough uh -oh. time to rejoin. But now Sparkle is changing it up Tracer, for the first time. Tracer and Sombra, they want to get zipped back to this point as fast as possible and get into the back line. If they could eliminate Fielder, that would be huge. That could actually just halt everything. He's got the trance. They could maybe even bait it out. He's looking for him right now. Looking for the hack there onto the light. He's going to be hitting the ground. Transcendence out from Fielder. Takuyaki going to be eliminated. Maybe GC Puss on Wave can actually convert this into a push here onto A. Before Edison is going to be waiting with the EMP. Hasn't felt the need to use it. Hanbin going to get knocked out of the mech as things start looking rather good for GC. Hack in Hanbin dead. Transcendence out from Bixby. Now they're struggling. Falter for a moment. Sparkle able to find Fielder, but otherwise. Seems like that's about going to be it. Sparkle dashing over to the side. Will get taken down by the light. They managed to get the push. Not going to be a full hold. But very limited time bank. Sparkle, does he just go straight back over to the Doom Fist or does he use the Pulse Bomb? I think he's going to use the Pulse Bomb. I think he's going to stick with this a little bit longer. He might as well. These two Sombras okay. passing the night. We're going to see GZ Busan Wave obviously make the swap to a more meta comp after this EMP. Nope. No Pulse Bomb. Oh, okay. He swaps. He decides to go back. But look. This is GC Busan Wave's chance to solidify their time bank with this EMP. It's going to have to be a big one, and if they can get a wipe with this and swing around this corner, they can lead with all charge. Well, that's going to be Sparkle hacked out immediately on the back of the EMP. Fixed me dead. Takoyaki gone. And unique, yeah, not much HP to work with here around the cart. Hotman will get taken down, so that'll be a very nice advancement here. Very good all right. push. So for the first time, we're going to see Sparkle versus Edison Zarya versus Zarya. Well, well maybe. Well, I think eventually, once he realizes Sparkle's on the Zarya, he will swap. But the longer he waits, the more Ult Charge Sparkle gets as an advantage. He should be running back to swap right now. It's too late. EMP out from Doha. Trying to take the fight. Transcendence, however, still going to be used by Fielder. Managed to get that one off, and now the sound barrier is in from Unique. Bomb up into the air. Ritz looking for a pick. Will not be able to get one. That's right. Bomb from Hanbin. Takes down nobody. This is going to be Moment Mystic stabilizing as they get rid of four. He can get a very nice stagger here on the Ritz as he tries to walk his way off does, walk his way off the side of the map. Does Edison think 62% of an EMP is worth, you know, potentially throwing, losing control of this map, losing control of ults even if they get B away? He says yes. Sparkle's already at 75%, so if he swaps to Zarya, it's lose-lose here. This EMP, the next one that he's going to get 20%, has to guarantee them that push across because there's no more time after that. Oh. He makes a tough choice here. If that does work, then you're going to have to deal with the problem that they're going to have to deal with the grab after that, too. He's trying. There we go. He finally got up top. So these are the big, important moments for DC Busan Wave. The benchmarks to hit. This EMP has to hit everyone. Ready to go. Pops up into the air. Catches the tanks. On bin. He will get burned down. Takoyaki falling low. The transcendence from Bixby keeps him chopped up. The primal range can be held. Gravadon Surge locking them in. Edison going to get dropped. Hanbin makes his way back into the back. Pistols his way back to it. Rejoins. Element Mystic operating as a full six man unit here at the moment. Primal range going to be out of Ion. Already getting knocked down. I can't talk anymore. To half HP, but will get topped up as Fielder goes ahead and uses that transcendence. The light going to get burned down. Bixby coming up with the kill. Sparkle already more than halfway to the next grab. You know, still operating at 100 energy. Right clicks coming through. Daydream trying to stay alive, skirting around the cart. Does manage to last for a little bit longer, but Hanman eventually finds the kills. And that should be it. Edison swapped over to the McCree, but he cannot get anywhere close. They get held just past point A. Element Mystic almost getting that full hold. They regain control. They still show their dominance. That is a very... That fight was won based off Elo Mystic understanding that all they had to do was live through the EMP, hit the tank line, but did not hit Fix Me, who had the trance perfectly ready. 
And it was because that the approach for Edison was so telegraphed. They knew where he was, and so when the translocator came up, there was no mystery, there was no ambiguity about where the EMP would land. The tanks were the only ones caught by it because they needed to be in that spot to obviously do their job tank and, and help peel for the back line. But everyone else was ready to just swoop back in, hit that heels from the hit the heels from the Zenyatta there, fix me, transcendences. And they'll just swoop back in and clean up the fight from there. The ensuing grab from Sparkle too was ready. We talked about how, you know, if the EMP worked and he didn't use the grab and they got to to B, that would be the Ooh. next step for them to deal with. But it ended up being that they defended it just fine. So now, I mean, Elit Mystic is on track to continue pace here and win this map and win the Series 4-0. Edison's Widowmaker, though, is something that his, he started his career off in the Western scene. Everyone saw him pop off on Ilios a whole season and a half ago. Sparkle's already ready to duel him. I don't He's know gonna if it's going to really back. happen. Yeah. Just trying to scope in, trying to spot something out. They have the Winston ready to go to get on top he of the Widow, but Oka is going to commit to it, I think. Wait. Oh, Genji. Oh. 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 Here comes the OG. Already going to be tagging some stuff up there with that deflection. All right. Double hits it. Slipping around. Oh, so. nope. All right. Sigwell, well, I forced their position back. Yeah. So Go bottom right, you can see the, you know, what Edison is tracking right now versus what's happening in Elo Mystic's perspective. No longer, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> Diving Takoyaki taking so much damage off the bat. Immediately had to back off. The bubble saving his life. Another headshot through. Edison, remember, when he first impressed us, it was with this Widowmaker. That was on Ilios. It's a shot there on to fix me. On being almost knocked out of the mech, the mega pack saving him. As many widows have learned as they try to counter 3 3, though, headshots that don't kill don't matter when the card keeps rolling, when it's a tanky cop that's getting healed up. He's gonna need more than just big damage, he's gonna need those finishing blows coming out from his tank line. Dragon Strike gonna be tossed straight through, Takoyaki locked up, taken down. Sparkle gonna be running through and actually does go ahead and give himself over to the ult. Edison hounded down by Unique, but that's going to be the only reprieve that Elman Mystic found on that push. Delight here is going to be just fine. It's a bit. It's staggered further and then eventually eliminated. So this is a good start here for GC Basan Wave. Delight coming up with those kills really prevented that completion. Yeah, and he's going to have another one for the time they try to contest again. Will he be able to use it as easily? Will he have the yeah. flanking position? That's tough to say, but what we can say is Sparkle on this Aria is not able to do enough damage to build a grab against this ranged composition. Route 66 is the way, place where this works the best. Yeah, rotate over the side, got a nice headshot there on a hot bin, weakening him. Does have that self-destruct in case he needs a remake. Edison barely making out with his life, but as I say that, Noah hounds him down, chill bash into the ship, gets rid of him. Now Fielder gonna be gone. And that might just open up point A here. Doha going low, trying to stay alive. Offers up an armor pack. Primal Rage going to be coming out. He's still steadily ticking up. Zarya bubble through. He'll get topped up. And Ion now loses out on the Primal Rage. Has to dip out. Rejoin with the rest of his squad. As the cart rolls into a four minutes that they have to defend just in front of the garage. Yep. It's going to be a pretty tough hold. Putting Edison on to the Zarya now, but he's already a whole ult behind. This is what I was talking about with Sombra set up the same way. Just, that's all there is to it. You know, you've got to match this, but you have to accept when you do that you're going to be a whole ult behind. Perhaps more. Delight is going to be the one over onto the Lucio. Yeah, rather than Daydream. Probably so. got caught in a weird swap. Yeah, changing things up here with the swaps. Oh, high, high energy here from the Sparkle. He's gonna be looking to beam it down that enemy Winston. Daydream already taken out the light, trying to make his way out of there, but now suddenly Fielder is isolated. Ended up going up the stairs when he should have been trying to kite back. Right down, looking for the right click, and oh, he hits him! Sparkle showing off, gets the hits. I mean, this could just be it. They need somebody to tag in. Nobody's really fast enough. Ion swapping over to the Reinhardt. Can they get here in time? I mean, it's all about, look at this high ground here. They can't even get out. And Unique is just going to boop them away. I don't I think, think they touch it. He's just going to no. get picked. The Fire Strike finds the kill. Zarya bubbled through, but it's not in time. 
Elven Mystic on the back of the team wipe, just casually glide through to the 4-0 finish. Everyone has kept their expectations for Elven Mystic this season very cautious because after season one, they lost in the round of eight in that tragic upset to O2. But everyone said, no, season two will be the season of Element Mystic. They will come back. They won't make the mistakes that they made in season one. It was not their meta. They did not have Sparkle. So in season three, those same Element Mystic fans did not want to say, Sparkle's back. This is it for sure. Trust me this time. They're going to win. And when they went 1-0, everyone was still pretty quiet. When they went 2-0, we got a little bit more excited. And after last week, it was an easy win for them. People were still being cautiously optimistic. But after tonight, with this 4-0, absolute dominating stop, a crushing victory, I think those Elemistic fans are going to be louder than ever. And we look to be the closest we have been since season one to this team potentially taking a title in our last season of contenders for 2018. Very exciting times for those members of Element Mystic that were here from the beginning. Those who stayed with the squad did not go to Overwatch League. Their chances of taking a title feel as close as they did two seasons ago. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you're an L team watching this and you, you have your eyes on Sparkle and you're like, I wanna, I wanna get him. Start setting money aside now. Start saving up, get like a high interest rate, bank account, and just wait till season three and hope to God you got enough to outbid everybody else because the money's gonna fly for this kid when he becomes available. He is so darn good. Yeah, he really is. You might as well, I mean, you're saying save your money. I'm like, probably just set your sights elsewhere. You probably can't afford him. <laughs> you're gonna have to sell your owl slot to afford this kid. Yeah. And then it's just you're like, <laughs> whoo! <laughs> Impeccable. Absolutely.